Hi guys, Kyung here. Happy Friday. So it's time for another page by page um, with Sweepy Papers. And by the way, and I even wrote it down because I'm always forgetting to mention at the beginning of the video. And so my, you know, I do have the worst memory. And so I was like, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to put it down on my table so that I will see it and I will remember it. So all of Sweet Pea Paper's links are in the description below, right? Um, she does a video as well every single Friday and we each use the same prompt and each do a different page, right? So, right, last week the prompt was flowers and I did a completely different page than she did. She did like an oriental page. I think she used uh, Lorna, Lorna Taylor's, um, Taylor Made Journals, her recent oriental uh digital kit that came out which is gorgeous by the way so but this week is tags dum dum tags and i have this paper and it's an echo park echo park paper and it's like the last piece of 12 by 12 i have from this like little paper pad that i had and here's the back of it so i thought i would use both i would use this side and the side on the back um, and the idea is tags, right? That's the idea. So I kind of have an idea. I don't know. I haven't tested it out as I never do. You know how these things are. I have these little cutout tags. We can play with those. Um, but I have an idea of making pockets out of tags and then, right? So like, let's say, let's see if we if we put a pocket here, right? Like we glued it down like like a pocket and we put a tag in it, right? Well, I suppose we could do it like a belly band and then we could slip it in like this, right? Well, what if then we took this tag, right? Like a tag like this and we glued it down on top of it like a pocket, right? And then this one could slip in like this, right? and so on right and then maybe another one glued down like as a pocket like this and then we'll put another tag in like that so essentially we'll have pocket tags and actually these are the perfect size so we're going to use these as templates or just yeah as a template actually because we're going to use this paper um and this is thick enough paper so let's see Let's just cut a bunch of them out. So we want them at this, this width. So it's super windy here. The, um, the weather is moving in. I think it's gonna snow again. So yay, I'm excited about that. Um, my sister had her weekend, and so she goes back to work tomorrow. But, because she always works the weekends. But my husband will have the weekend off, so that's always nice, you know. So that way, it actually kind of works out pretty cool. I get kind of days with each of them. Okay, I thought that that was a pencil mark and not... part of the design. It's hard to tell though. Okay, so we have these. And then, and I figure what we'll do is we'll make the pockets, you know, the black side, and then we'll make the tags this side. And maybe we'll decorate the tags and stuff. I don't know. We will see. We will see. I might not do much with them. I might kind of leave it pretty simple. I might make it a pretty simple, quick video. So, what else do I know? I made pumpkin pie, finally. <laughs> I finally made pumpkin pie, and it came out amazing. I was so happy. My very first pumpkin pie, right, that came out good. Because I've always messed up pumpkin pie every time I try to make it. It never sets for me. So, But this time I did it, so I'm very happy about that. And, but dinner, dinner tonight is tacos, tacos. We haven't had tacos in a while. 
Okay, so I forget how many tags we needed. What, maybe five? So let's see, if we glued this one like this, we put this in like this, right? We took this one like this, we put this one in like this. So we're gonna need maybe two or three more. Okay, that's cool. We can do that, we can cut more. Maybe we'll even kind of decorate the, um, let's just see, what is it? Oh, I lost it. Let me just mark it. <laughs> see, I looked at it, right? I was looking at the number. I moved the paper, bam, the number disappeared from my mind. <laughs> I just can't keep numbers in my mind. I don't know. I wonder if it's like some kind of dyslexic thing. I know when I was a child, I was tested for like dyslexia and stuff and I wasn't. It was like, no. They were like, no, she doesn't have a learning disability. She's just lazy. That was kind of what was concluded. And I was like, okay. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm really trying. <laughs> it's, well, you just need to care about it. But I do care. <laughs> I would like to remember numbers. That would be a thing that would be, I feel like, a nice thing to know. And to be able to have, you know, stick in your head numbers. <laughs> oh, did I cut all these the right side up? Oh, I'm very lucky that I did. I didn't even check them. Right, so these are right side up. So here's two more. Hopefully that will be enough. Right, so we have how many tags? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that'll make three pockets with three tags. And look at these, look at these cute little remnants. Oh, these are cute, huh? I can just... We can just cut this part off. Oh, look at these. I'll have to keep those hmm? to use them in something. Okay, so the next part. I think I'm going to punch all the holes right now just for sake of ease. And my little we are memory keepers punch thing should be strong enough to do it this is a pretty hefty thing it's uh it punches holes like really good look at that okay awesome so now all our holes are exactly the same i mean not that it really matters okay so three of them are going to be this side and three of them are going to be this side look at those huh that's pretty loud Let's put um, some twine in there. Here we go, we have some of this twine. We don't need a lot, just a little bit. Because it's all gonna get, these are the pockets and they're gonna get glued down. See, like that. Maybe I'll grab my Black Sook Distress Ink and do a little bit of distressing, we'll see. You probably won't be able to see it other than on like where the letters are, but I think it'll make a difference. So yeah, the wind has been just howling like crazy all day. It's the temperature dropped tremendously. It was super warm yesterday, very warm. All the snow and ice that was left over had melted and turned into mud. <laughs> Which, of course, then the dogs, you know, traipsed through the house. So that's fun. You know, lots of mess to clean up. Let's see. Where's my black soot? But I'm so happy. They, they were so happy with the snow. I'm happy that they were happy with the snow. Let's use the little dauber, the little dauber. Let's see. 
I mean, you can tell. It does make a subtle difference. A subtle difference. And, you know, again, one would be surprised at subtlety and the impacts it has on things. They're like things your eye overlooks, but then at the same time, your eye picks them up. I don't know. That just looks so much better than this one. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. That was my husband. He was calling to let me know that um, he was called back into work. He left work, right? And then he stopped at the store on the way home. And then right as he was about to come home, they called him back in. <laughs> Oh, uh, such is life. Poor guy. Well, I told him, I was like, see, that's what happens when you're so good at your job. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Look at the... That looks really, really good. The black soot on this, on this paper. So it's great that I'm actually... I'm using this because I watched Titanic <laughs> just last night, me and my sister. We stayed up super late and we watched Titan, you know, the old 1997 or whatever film. And oh, it's so great. I love that movie. I grew up with that, you know. And it's so interesting. You know, we were talking, me and my sister, about, you know, the impacts that it had on us as kids. Do you know certain scenes, do you know, like when they're walking in the down in like deck E or whatever and it's flooding and they're walking through the water or whatever? That like, I don't know, as kids, we just, we were like, wow. <laughs> like, um, okay, there we go. Now to put string in these three, I have, I have enough for one. I have enough for one. And then I have to pull out, pull out my twine. Because this was like an off cut I had from something else I was making. Let's see. Here we go. My little roll of twine. This is great. This was like, I don't know. I got this in like the kitchen section of the grocery store or something. This roll of like, and it doesn't shed as much as this other stuff. So I got this stuff from the Dollar Tree, right? So, and it's fine, right? It's like twine, but it sheds. So if you look at like, it's got, the, and it's, um, it's more stiff, right? So if you look at its like texture versus this, right, is like a little bit more fine and it's softer and it just doesn't, it doesn't um, shed as much as like the other stuff. I don't know. Yay. Okay. So what are we going to put on these tags? That's the question. What are we going to put on these tags? We'll have to put something on them and maybe something on the, well, let's put it all. Did I cut that way too short? I cut that way too short. I cut that one too short too. Goodness gracious. Okay. This is fine. We got it. Oops. Okay, let's do this again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, the trick, see, <laughs> when you get them through the loop is to pull both of them, right? Because if you pull just one, then you'll get what ha just happened to me. Okay, it's a little short, but that's okay. That's what kind of why we had difficulty too. But I didn't want to cut another piece and waste another piece. All right, so here are our tags. They're all ready to go. Let's grab our page. Okay. So the first one we're going to put here. And do we want to do something? We should, we should ink and do something to the back of this page because... It needs something. Uh, okay, let's go. Ooh, that linen paper is really picking up that ink, huh? 
compared to like regular paper. It just, that's okay. I'm gonna go in with a brush and we're gonna stencil too. I just wanna really get the edges nice and dark. Okay. Good deal. Grab my board. And my brush. Let's see. Which one is the one? Here it is. Here's the one for my black ink. Okay, and then uh, let's look at stencils. What should we do? We have these designs. What about this one? We have this one. I've never used and this one I've never used. Ooh, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one too though because it's got like, I don't know, it evokes kind of maybe a travel ocean splatter something effect. I don't know. I don't care. We're going to play with it anyway. So we're just going to put touches here and there touches here and there. Perhaps, ooh, look at that. That's fancy. Maybe some up here, some here. Just come in lightly, very lightly, right? You get that kind of different shading. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm very happy with that. I'm so happy with that. Okay, now we can put these down and it does, it's not just like plain. I suppose we could do some with some oxide as well. Maybe layer some color. I feel like that will really help us maybe a little bit, huh? But we'll have to be super careful. We'll have to be super careful. A little bit here and there. Look at that. That looks so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm all Twitter pated with myself. Okay. Now to glue down these tags. Goodness gracious. I suppose we were going to do this one without the bottom glued, right? Because the tag needs to be able to, that's okay, stick or, you know, slide down, which is okay. We can just wipe it off. I think I'll put it here. My Timmy towel which is just a towel from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, okay. But everyone in Miss Paint-A-Lot's group calls it a Timmy towel. So here's the problem. That's gonna sit where the fold is, huh? That's a problem. So you know what, I'm gonna have to cut it. Oh, I hate to do that, right? I should have glued it the other way. It'll sit like that, that's fine. And then it won't get caught in the fold, but it still has, it looks like it, there's a tie, you know. The page will start and then it'll, it'll be fine. Okay, so this tag goes in like this. Ta-da! Now this one gets glued on like this, right? So, and I didn't test this, so I don't know. <laughs> If once we get all the pockets down, if you'll be even be able to take the tags in and out of the pockets. I assume yes. I assume so. I'm, I'm pretty sure thinking about it, it should work. I'm just going to line this up with this and I use the wrong tag. Right. I did. Oh well. 
right? And then this one goes in like this. Uh, but it's too, we're gonna have to cut it. It's too long. That's the problem with this one. Again, we don't want it to sit in that fold. What if we cut it this short? Will that do good? Would that be okay? Let's stick in there now. It's fine. I don't know. We'll see, huh? I'm always doing, I feel like I should have done it the other way around, right? Pointed this one this way, put the, whatever. <laughs> this is why you usually do these, these things beforehand, right? Right. Okay. And then this is our last pocket and it's going to go here. My glue is exploding all over the place. I don't know why. Look at it. It's like a volcano over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Line this up on this one. I like the way it looks. I think it's a cool idea. Right? It just needs, I think it just needs tweaked a little bit, you know? I think it should be facing the other way, right? So these tags should be facing this way. This pocket should be on this side. It's, well, I suppose it depends on which side your page was. I think if it was on this page, it would have been fine. I'm always doing that, doing things backwards, even though I have it on. Whatever. It is what it is. And we're going to move on. Okay, so this is going to go there, right? And this goes here. And then this tag sits here like this. And it can definitely be decorated a little bit, right? I may cut this tag down even more, even more, right? Have it, yeah, that's better. It can sit up here like this. And then we can, like, let's do some stamping, maybe. We'll put some stamping and then we'll... Um, glue some stuff on there and it'll be fine and then we'll call it hmm? so let's grab our stamps let's play with Lorna's stamps yay I want to play with Lorna's stamps so let's move this and let's see what do we have we have this one okay it's a Christmas one we have this one it says Tiffany and Company this one says journal this one says vintage. We can definitely put that one on there. Christmas. Quite a few Christmas, which I was so excited about because I love Christmas. Let's see. This one also says journal. Journal. I like this one. We'll use this one. And, hmm... The text on this is nice. We can use that. I think that's what we'll do. So those will be the stamps we'll use. And I'll use the coffee archival ink. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna kind of, going to kind of do it by hand. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. See, it's just background. We can stamp this off perhaps here. Okay. This one is going to go here. Ta-da! Again, not the perfect, not the most, I mean, I'm just doing it by hand and I don't have my stamping thing, but that's okay. It's great. It's exactly what I want. And then vintage. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so that's done. We stamped our page 
And now I have these numbers. I have like numbers. That one's pink. All right, so look at this one. I have this one. That is cool. The four with the moon. I like, th oh, this one. This one we're using for sure. I also like that. The number seven. What else do we have? We have this five. What about that? What do we think? I really like it. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm very happy with this page. I wasn't sure, you know, with this paper. It's, I don't know. I, I've been, it's been sitting in my stash for a long time and I haven't used it. My exploded glue. Put that there. Let's deal with this. Goodness, okay. Um, where is my, there we go. I don't know what its issue is and why its pressure is, it's just, I don't know, it's coming out of there. Yay, number seven, and then we'll ink this one real quick too. While we're at it. And then let's see, maybe what we'll do is we'll put little words or um, like quotes or something like that on the tags, just real quick, so that they're not completely blank. There we go. Although I'll tell you, I haven't had any clogging issues at all recently. Oh no, I just bent my pin. What can you do? I'll just straighten that out later. But yeah, I haven't had any clogging issues. But I've also been really good about keep putting my um, my pin back in my glue. <laughs> I think that makes a big difference, yeah. Okay, let's ink this back up, this bottom of this tag. All right, so that goes in there, this goes in here, and this goes in there. Oh my goodness, it looks great. And I definitely think, especially on this tag, because it's seen, um, it needs something. Let's see, what do we have? We have words. What is this? Nope. Starfish. Well, that doesn't really go. <laughs> it's the perfect size, though, huh? Let's look at labels and stuff, huh? Let's see, what do I have? What do we have we can put on here? We have this red one, which I don't like. Not for this purpose. Hmm. This is odd. That doesn't really go. We have these little definitions. They don't really go either. Perhaps none of that. Perhaps. I don't know, you know? No, not that. Here we go. Let's look at this. Let's look in this random stuff. Let's see, we have a one of that, we have this. That doesn't go either. Perhaps just like words. I'm starting to more lean. I wish we had like a compass or something. I think that that would be really cool, like a compass. But I don't think, I have clocks, right? I have little clocks. That kind of goes, 
The map goes, I love that, but if it were smaller, I don't think I have a smaller one. What about this one? Let's see. We have that. I don't know. That looks like some kind of weird timer. Books. Postcard. We have luggage. We have like this luggage. I kind of like the luggage. The luggage. We have a key. We have a horseshoe. Some music. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm leaning towards the luggage. The luggage and the clock is what I'm thinking. It's because I used the wrong tag to glue down there. <laughs> I used the one I had inked previously. Let's ink these white um, border. There we go, like that. I'm thinking. Like that. Ooh, ooh, and a stamp. And a stamp. Yes, a postage stamp. I like this one. I like its color. It's very that gold. Oh, it's kind of shiny too. It's perfect. It's perfect. So it's funny. Miss Miss P, Miss Paintalash, she calls these. I think she I remember I heard she called them uh, queenie stamps. Which is funny because when I heard that, my my dad, okay, my grandmother, my great grandmother had a little dog. Okay, it was like this little Boston bulldog, little Boston bull bull terrier or whatever, and uh, his name was Queenie. <laughs> and I guess my dad talked about how it was a mean little dog when he got older and like would bite him and nip at him and stuff. <laughs> oh. Queenie. Okay. We'll glue this there. I don't know. It looks like a pressure gauge or something. It, it works. It works for our purposes. It's travel kind of page. All right. We'll put the briefcases here. And the stamp right there. I think so. And then you know what? Definitely some words. Let's see. How about something about travel or something? Hmm, we're almost done with this page. Let's see. Doom, doom. Gazed at the stars. The gate directed her. <laughs> Let's see. Something about a journey or adventure or travel. This is our journey. That's cute. Put a little bit of glue on there. There we go. How cute is that tag? That is so cute. I love it. It's going to sit in there like this. Ta-da! Our page is done! I'm so excited. Let's see what it looks like in the book um, next to the other pages and stuff. All right, so I think it just goes here. That's fine. That's perfect. This will get kind of, which is okay, it can slide kind of in there at an angle. There's nothing wrong with that. What do we think? I kind of like it. It's cute. I like it. Today's page by page. 
And then, oh, I get to pick the prompt for next week. Okay, so the prompt for next week. Let's see. I think we are very close to being done. Let's see. We have one, two, three. Right, so there's three pages. Um, I'm thinking stencils. Let's do stenciling. So whatever you want to do with stenciling, but we have to use stencils. So that's the idea. And I only thought of that because I just looked over and I saw this stencil. And um, yeah, that works for me, stencils. So yay! I had so much fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon. I'm going to start the door journal. Um, and um, stay safe out there and everything, and um, hang in there, and uh, stay positive, and uh, love to you all, and good thoughts, and I will talk to you later. Bye!